So I think that when we when we talk about the gospel, like oftentimes, you know, we get like real churchy about it, and um, people think the gospel is kind of a weird word, even if you're not in church. Like, what what is that? What is that? But I, I mean, honestly, I think at the heart of it, it's really the longing of the soul. What is our soul longing for? What is the good news to our soul? And I think that. You know, what we have said the good news is for centuries, um, I think has been really shaped by, uh, by a narrative that doesn't necessarily speak to most people in the world today. And so it ain't, it ain't coming off as good news, you know what I mean? Or very good news, or maybe good enough. And, and let me explain what I mean by that. Um, I took a pilgrimage uh, about 13 years ago, and this pilgrimage was with about 25 people in a bus over 10 states over four weeks and we retraced the Cherokee Trail of Tears and the African experience in America from slavery to civil rights. And I came to the end of that journey and I, and I, you know, I, I was, I really prided myself on being somebody who could really communicate what the good news is. But I came to the end of that journey after having walked the walk of some of the most evil stuff we've ever experienced in this land. And I realized that my understanding of the gospel was mute in the face of this evil. It had nothing to say. Now that was a frightening thought because for me, my faith is at the center of, of everything. It's at the center of, of my worldview, my, my understanding of what life is about. But if my gospel had nothing to say, then what does that say about my faith? So I went on a 13 year journey, basically. This has been a 13 year journey of investigating what is actually the good news in scripture. And for me, it started in Genesis and it's weaved its way all the way throughout. Miroslav Fulf in his book, Public Faith, um, he, he draws the distinction between thin faith and thick faith. And I really do believe that part of the reason why people have been turned off by Christianity over the, and actually just religion in general, um, over the last uh, few decades is because we have really borne the fruit of thin faith. You know, thin faith is the faith that caused the Holocaust. Thin faith is the faith of apartheid. Thin faith is the faith that is that climate change deniers right now. Hello, somebody. Thin faith is the faith that gives, gives credence to domination, that blesses bombs when you drop them. That's thin faith. But thick faith, thick faith is the faith of the abolitionist movement. Thick faith is the faith of the suffragist movement. Thick faith is the faith of the civil rights movement. Thick faith is the faith of the environmental justice movement. Thick faith is the faith of Oscar Romero. Thick faith is the faith of, of Mandela. Thick faith changes the world. And it's that faith that we need today. The journey of the very good gospel is to begin to understand how the scripture actually does speak really good news for the world today. And it's, it's really wrapped up in the question of connectedness and how we were called and created to be connected with God, connected with each other, connected between genders, connected within families, connected between people groups, connected between nations. And it is the division and the breaking of all of those relationships that is causing the pain that we're experiencing today. And I believe that the good news that Jesus himself proclaimed was that in following the Jesus way, in following the way of good news, then this world could be healed.